Welcome to the Crafty Kansan. Today we have a cute little Christmas craft and I thank you for joining me. Uh, we're going to be using these chalkboard blocks. I received these chalkboard blocks last month in a Michael's grab bag. That was when they had the back to school grab bags and I was pretty excited to get this. I was thinking about how I could use it and uh, so there are eight total blocks in this set. Um, I was just kind of laying them out to see what I could come up with. Uh, on these blocks there is uh, a smooth and a rough side and I'm just measuring them here so I know how big to cut my vital letters. So we're basically just going to make a cute little farmhouse decor sign for the holidays. And there's the visual difference between the rough versus the smooth side. And we're going to use the smooth side for our sign today. So I went ahead and used my Cricut Joy to cut out Let It Snow. And these are three different fonts that I use to create these. And I just did that in Cricut Design Space. And if you haven't used the Cricut Joy yet, or you haven't tried it, I highly encourage you to go out and get it. Um, it has really, the compact size of it has really helped me to do my craft projects much faster. I feel like with it, not having so many um, design elements to create, that things are pretty much created for you, that it's just, uh, for me, it's a real time saver. And I love the compact size and the fact that I can take it with me. So if I want to go to my friend's house and work on a project, um, as long as I've got, you know, Bluetooth enabled device, you know, I can use my Cricut wherever. So pretty excited about that. So I've cut out the letters, uh, let, and because I'm going to be applying them to each block one at a time, I've cut the letters and we're going to go ahead and adhere those to the blocks. So normally I used transfer tape, but I have been out for a little bit and I had this clear duck brand shelf liner from back in January pre-COVID and so um, when I ran out of transfer tape I have been using this now I don't like it as well as the transfer tape but it does work um, I just sometimes the letters have a tendency to peel up when you're peeling the backing away but if you go slow and keep the paper close to the vinyl when you're peeling it away, you'll have success. So you'll be able to apply the letters. So I did the word let and then the word it, which is in cursive. And now I'm just applying the letters that make up the word snow. Now, I know I definitely wanted this um, to all be one unit, so uh, I decided to glue the letters together, and you'll see me do that here in just a minute. be using my Sherbonder glue gun. This is the cordless variety, which I do like the Sherbonder products and I do love their glue products. Um, I'm not really sure that I am super wild about uh, the stand on this particular model. The handle has to be plugged into the base in order for it to come up to the proper temperature. 
And you'll see sometimes I have trouble um, placing the glue gun into its base. So probably when this one dies, I probably will, I will definitely get another sugar bonder, but I think I'll just go back to a corded one. Um, when I'm crafting, I'm, you know, really looking at what I'm doing. I'm not looking at where I'm putting the glue gun back. So that's aspect of it. I don't really care for it, but the gun itself, um, you know, it, Ergonomically, it feels really good in your hand, and it heats up really fast, and I enjoy that it's a high-temp gun, and um, it, you know, it's not excessively, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This is not a technical term, but gloopy. <laughs> you know, some glue guns, it'll just come out in, like, globs. Um, this, gun, this glue gun doesn't seem to do that as much as some of the other ones that I've had. So I've got the let and it all glued together. And I've got my snow all together. So we're gonna offset this. I didn't want the letters directly under each other. So there's gonna be a little bit of an edge showing. And I'm just double checking this to make sure it's where I want it. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of glue. And then I'm gonna Set the top onto the bottom, and I'm gonna give it a little bit of pressure just to make sure I have it where I want it. And there you have it. There's the main body of the sign. Now, this little sign obviously needs some accents, so I bought these mini ornaments from Walmart, and they were $1.99, and I know the little red truck was so huge last year and I was hoping that my Dollar Tree would have some more of these, but they have not had them out or I missed them after they put them out and they all got purchased. So I went to Walmart and I found literally the same thing. Of course, yes, it was another dollar more, but that's okay. So since these are ornament hangers, um, or these, excuse me, these are ornaments and have hangers, um, you're going to go ahead and remove the wire for this project. And I'm actually going to save the wire and use it in a little bit to make a bow. And I could just hot glue the red truck to the top of the sign, but I felt like I needed a little bit of stability. So this is a uh, Jenga block from Dollar Tree that I painted black. I just painted it black so it would blend into the sign better. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that onto the back of the truck for support. Place that on top and try to figure out exactly where I want it to be. So after I figure out where I want it to be, I'm going to use a little glue and adhere that to the top of the sign. Now as I'm looking at this, I'm trying to think too what else I can add to make this look a little more finished. So I'm going to go ahead and make a bow. and. I made the bow off camera and I made the bow using the wire from the ornament and the ribbon that is a polka dot burlap ribbon is also from Dollar Tree. So I went ahead and made the bow and glued it on the top next to the tree. And there you have it. Let it snow. Farmhouse style sign. Thank you for joining.